So I'm standing here with, with three motorcycles, three big bore enduro bikes, cutting edge technology, all made in Austria. KDM, Husseberg and Husqvarna. So I guess to the sceptics out there that might say that these are three bikes that really are identical in every respect really except for their colours. And well that's not true, to, that's not fair to say. It, it is in the sense that the engines are all the same. They all do run the same engine, same inlet tracks, etc. Uh, as most of you know, the Husseberg now for a couple of years has run the, the 4TS fork. Uh, the four chamber system fork also has uh, the uh, the plastic subframe and different body work and uh, but aside from that very much a KDM. Then earlier uh, or last year we found out that KDM had in fact bought Husqvarna. Not so long ago in Sweden, it was October last year, they released the 2014 model. Uh, not the Italian made Husqvarna, the new, I guess the new look, the new generation Husqvarna um, in Sweden. So what is it? Everyone expected just to be a Husseberg with Husqvarna logo painted on the side, and in a lot of ways it is. I mean, the press release made it pretty clear they're going to use 110 years worth of Husqvarna her uh, heritage, cutting edge technology from the Husseberg, which is made in the KTM factory, splice the two together. What that means is really that what you're looking at over here, the FE501 the 2014 model, is the 25th and final model that you'll ever see from Husseberg, so a pretty important and, uh, and marquee bike in that respect. Over here with the Husqvarna, it's the very first, or the very first of the Austrian made, when I say Austrian made, in the, in the KDM factory. This differs from the Husseberg really only in one respect, and that is the linkage. Okay, there's some other finer details. So, so I guess, you know, we, going with the sceptics for a while, we sort of, you know, we said, look, these are all the same bikes, but are they? You know, and it's been interesting, because what we've done, we've come out, we've, we've spent a couple of days out here, at, uh, at Jared Bewley's property out near Oberon, uh, testing them a lot of open and closed trails and or tight trails and open trails just to get a feel for the things and and the interesting thing is that very subtle little differences in suspension setup, in ergos, in engine mapping, all those kind of things contribute to a bike actually having quite a significantly different character. So do we sit with the sceptics? Are these three things the same, the same platform just with different colours to confuse the consumer? Well, no, I don't think that's the case personally, but we've had a whole lot of out here testing for a couple of days. We've got a big article which sort of goes into a lot of depth about the differences between the bikes, uh, and that's in the April issue, which is on sale on newsstands uh, in early March.